day. All them day. All day. I, no, I ain't even gonna tell you what's in here because I don't know. So I'm gonna put it right here. This is gonna be my theme for this video. I'm gonna put it right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in one of the comments that I got on one of my videos, uh, somebody asked me to do a perfume collection for um, spring, summer, basically. So for me, I am very much into perfumes. I love perfumes. I don't think I'm as crazy about perfumes like my sister is, but I love, love, love perfumes. And I thought that I should show you what is in my spring, summer stash, what I use frequently, and some of them you will see that it's frequently, okay? But I am very, very sparing. I do not finish uh, perfume in like two months like my sister does. My perfumes last a really, really long time. If you would like to see what kind of perfumes I have in my spring, summer collection, then please do keep watching. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Uh, so the first perfume that I'm gonna pick up because it's the closest one to me This is not any surprise to anyone who knows me. I love YSL black opium now The reason why I love this this has a little bit of spice to it But I love the fact that it is floral but like a dark type of floral So it's got your jasmines and it's got all these notes Which I will put here somewhere because I don't remember them but I like this because it's not the sickening floral, it's a dark, dark type of floral. I don't know if it's got patchouli in there as well, but I actually really, really love this for summer nights out. I barely wear this during the day. I've had this for maybe well over a year now, and right now it's just below, um, it's literally just below this mark here, so you can't see it here. Uh, I need to get another one, but I secretly think my sister's been wearing this because hers goes out like this. So I really, really think she's been wearing this, but I really love, love, love YSL love them so the next perfume that i'm gonna pull out and i'm gonna pull them all out at random i'm not gonna you know this is the sweetenia flip sweetenia 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 fresh flora perfume this is a floral scent this is from the body shop can you believe it this is from the body shop actually the body shop has really really good perfumes it does. If you are wanting good perfumes and you're on a budget, definitely try out the Body Shop. This is one of the new ranges. This is so good. I don't know what is in here. So I'm going to put it somewhere here because uh, I didn't really just, I didn't even do the research. Normally I do research on the perfumes that I wear. Just check out what they have in them. But this one is so so good because it is just really fresh it's floral it says fresh flora but it it doesn't have that sickening floral smell i don't like floral smell but i really really like this and you can find this at the body shop for two something so get it i wear these these are some uh scents that i would probably put in my bag or i would wear it every day rather than wear the expensive scents every day but I love this. Next is a perfume that I wear all throughout the year. Everyone who knows me knows I love this. This is the second bottle of this perfume, number 20. And I'm already halfway through. This is the Jo Malone Wood, Wood, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I can't even talk today. Like This is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It is so nice. It sounds weird when you hear Wood Sage and Sea Salt, but it is so nice. It's got it's it's got a really great freshness to it, but at the same time, it really lingers quite a bit on my uh, skin. The only thing that I don't like about this is that for the price that you pay for it, it does not last as long as you would expect it to. It is quite a pricey perfume. However, it is so good because I'm actually even thinking of getting the smaller one to put in my bag. It is amazing. It's literally. It does have a little bit of salt to it, but it's got those wooden uh, oud touches to it as well. And I really, really love this. I ain't even gonna tell you what's in here because I don't know, so I'm gonna put it right here. This is gonna be my theme for this video. I'm gonna put it right here. And then this literally is on its last legs. The perfume is like literally empty. This is Erin Lilac Path. I need to repurchase this. This is so nice. <sighs> 
it is so nice you know if you can imagine walking into a spa and you get all these uh scents of uh lavender and 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 uh these really fresh spa aromas this is something like that it's very rich this also smells a little bit powdery it does smell a little bit powdery but the thing is this lasts on me all day all them day all day no it really does it really lasts a long time on me and i love the scent i haven't i had this bottle for maybe two years before it went bust like now but i think i can still get in a couple more spritzes like i use bottles to the last to the last but this is one of my favorite ones if you are somebody who wants a scent to linger on you for a really long time like literally to the point where it transfers onto your bed sheets or blankets well and then the next one out is dolce and gabbana this is dolce and gabbana the one <sighs> if you are looking for a fresh scent like legit fresh it doesn't it's not too um um it's it's not strong to a point where it's like it, it gets sickening like for me scents that are overly too strong they get sickening and i get a headache from them this is a very light fresh just imagine a woman in a white blouse going to or a white dress or a dress going to a cocktail party or something like that on a nice balmy summer's evening and she just goes do i have perfume on today foot i don't yes oh it's very 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 fresh but for me it oh my gosh that smells so good oh it is so nice it is really really one of i mean and the packaging can we can we just can we just though can we just this is a really really nice scent as well for summertime love this love this and then another one of my faves that's also on its last legs this is the byredo parfum this i this perfume i get in uh 2a i'm not sure if they sell them anywhere else but this is the gypsy water perfume i love this perfume not only is the packaging really really awesome it's simple it's got a black cap which is magnetic and it's just written there black and white by Redo, gypsy water made in france finish why must we add other things hmm? the proof is in the pudding but this is really really nice the only thing that i don't like about this one is that it does not last as long as i would like it to on me so normally when i do apply it listen by the middle of the day i can barely 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 um uh uh, smell it anymore but this one has a uh, wooden sense to it as well i really really love anyone who knows me knows i love musky and wooden scents i like this but you can it's wooden it's got wooden scents but you can pull it off for during the day as well and it's great for the warmer months i often do not gravitate as much towards it in winter but i find myself pulling it out quite a bit in the spring summer months really good really good really expensive jesus i don't know when i'm gonna get this one but it's very 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 good love me this is the armani code perfume absolutely love it look at the bottle it's just amazing it's a great great perfume um i do not wear this one all the time because it is overly sweet yo it is sweet jesus i'm a big 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 fan of this perfume i think it is great it really sits well on the skin it lasts quite a long time it's not overly sickening uh but for me literally when i spray this on it's just one two and that's it i can't take too much of the scent on me but i really love it it's not a scent i can let go of and as you know that's right. and my three last faves which this one i'm gonna pull it out it's my number one perfume but i'm gonna pull it out third last now there's no ranking there's no order of ranking i love perfumes okay but this one is my number one this is my number one scent this is my signature scent even the people at home know that Gateo chanel number five Bujal. so this is as i said chanel number five if you can think of sexy elegant sophisticated it's a very 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 like oh man it, it oh man um it's got a sense of ylang ylang in there i don't quite remember but as you know but my favorite scent that i can pick up the most from this is ylang ylang and it's one of the biggest biggest like uh ingredients of chanel number no. five perfumes this beautiful last the whole day sits on your clothes on your sheets every way like it will sit on a human who you will hug and they'll be like yo 
they'll tell you at the end of the day that I still smell your perfume on me. Ulo. Low number one. If you want to have a lasting impression, get him. The last two perfumes are by far the ones that I'm using quite the most at the moment. The first one is this one. This is Tom Ford Jasmine Rouge. If you've been following me for quite a while, you know that I've had this perfume for maybe almost two years now. I love this. This is the 100ml of the Tom Ford and it's like here. It's here already. I've used the heck out of this perfume. As you know, as it says, it's got scents of jasmine in it. I'm not quite sure what else it has, but is this is really good also for an evening scent. For me, it's not something I would wear during the day quite a bit, but I would wear it at night and I go ham with this. I'm like, pa -ta -pa -pa, cho -cho. <sighs> like I go ham. Okay, I don't go there. I mean, uh, no. Okay, but I go ham with the scent. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scents. And I don't know how I'm going to repurchase it because yet don't really perfume. Shame. I don't even want to lie. But it is really a great, great scent for nighttime. Tom Ford. Yes. Yes. And then the last perfume, which we will take a minute to appreciate the packaging. Yes, yes. This beauty is the uh Tom Ford Soleil, Soleil Blanc. Okay, I'm blinking. This is really, really great. I love this. I cannot go without it. It is my spring perfume. I have to go now. My camera is blinking. I don't know how long it's going to last. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Live in light and love and bye. <laughs> Sorry.